We've um I think you have to take cruising as just finding places that you'll probably go back to. You now every stop off it's really just a a scouting mission. <laughs> because you're only there for a day, usually. It's just to give you a feel for the place and you might go back there on a separate holiday. We were in Venice overnight on our cruise, so we were there for the two days. That was great. That's my favourite place so far. Um, where are we? Um, we're on this cruise this year. If it goes ahead, we're in Saint Petersburg overnight, so we're there for two days. It some stops because there's so much to see. Um, they will stay there for the two days, just so everybody gets a chance to see everything. I mean, Saint Petersburg. There's absolutely masses to see there. Uh, we've booked a two-day excursion trip thing. I think it's 20 hours in total. Just to see as much as possible. Because the chances of, of us going back there is quite slim. Um, oh, is he going to run me? Was it the midpoint? It was the midpoint, actually. Venice. It's just a beautiful place. We, um, I think we got in there uh, mid-afternoon, maybe. I can't really remember. And we had a a boat tour arranged for that afternoon to stay on the canals and go around the main canals looking at everything and then you could go back to the ship but we decided to stay in Venice and we had our supper on one of the little restaurants uh, overlooking the main canal And then we went back to the ship. On the second day we had a walking tour of Venice. Walking tours are the best. Don't go for the bus trips tour. The bus tours. <laughs> I've been stuck in a bus all day is just not fun. So we usually like to go on the tours where you've got a guide and it's a walking tour. Because you get to see a lot more. And you just get to enjoy it more. So we did a walking tour of um, of the main parts of Venice, and then you sort of went to a, a cafe to have a coffee at the end, and then you could do your own thing, or or the guide would take you back to the the launch ships to get back to the cruise ship. But we just went on a little walkabout by ourselves. We found this really great little shop. <laughs> it, was, it was a tiny little shop. This guy made all his own little miniature bookshelves with little model books and other things in them. We were in there for ages chatting to the owner. And we still keep in touch with the owner, so um, yeah, he made miniatures. I can let me get to a safe point. Was this the safe bit through here? It was. He also made the masks that Venice is famous for.
push off to get past these bots, don't I? What do I go up here? Let me just go get this. Somebody had moved it. <laughs> I couldn't find it. That little miniature bookshelf. We got really big ones that we couldn't afford. We just took a little one. Lots of details on that. A little gramophone. The plague mask. So he just had a little shop and he was making them there, in the shop, you could see him making them. Hi Luna. He also made, um, like, uh, balloons. Like, a people carrying balloon. <laughs> Very fancy, ornate, like Victorian style um, air balloons. We haven't managed to find any more of these tails. Yeah, he was he was really talented. Um, We were the, we were we were in there for ages, and it was just lucky we'd found it. It was a way down a little side street, not full size, but sort of the size of a normal blow-up balloon, but decorated very ornately. Um, I'll post up some photos because he's got a f page on Facebook. I'll post a link to the the, the shop. He was a really nice guy. Um, we ended up discussing lots of different things, <laughs> including food. Um, he ended up giving us a list of makes of pasta we should uh, use instead of the, the normal ones we buy. So we have actually been buying that pasta. It's a lot nicer. <laughs> We definitely found those lizards around about here. I'm determined to find a lizard. Poor lizards. Was they were over that way. Let's go back and have a look. Food is very important. Uh, if in Venice, I mean, we just. The closer you got to St. Mark's Square, the main square in Venice, the more expensive the restaurants got. <laughs> so we sort of wandered slightly further away and found a really nice place. And had a beer and a pizza. Right, I'm having a job spotting these um, lizards. Were they down there? I don't think they were, but I thought we found them when we went up.
Ah, there's one. Hey, worm. How are you today? Oh, are we, are we back up at Max on the herbs again? Oh, there's another lizard. Grab the lizard. Come back. Right, we need more lizards. You get that as well. I haven't had that for a long time. I used to get that as well. Where you just you were awake but you just could not move. It's quite scary. You really have to force yourself to move. Let's see if we've got enough lizard tails, because these guys are really hard to find. Where is it? We've done that. Are we missing the... It was to do with a drink, wasn't it? <laughs> ah. No, we need one more of each. Right. This last one's going to be the elusive one. It's not, not nice at all when you get that. <laughs> yeah. It does feel as though you're awake though, doesn't it? I need one more lizard. I haven't had a... Uh, I used to have a recurring nightmare, but I haven't had it in a long time.
there. <laughs> Why that blocked that message? <laughs> I don't block your message. <laughs> right, are these guys not going to spawn here now? The fun is not allowed, yeah. Especially when you're at work. I can't see any more lizards up here. Let's go try and find our lost mouse tail. I was, I was wondering where this black mark was next to me, but it's the shadow of the book. <laughs> um, I need to be down where I was. These lizards are really hard to find. There's lizards over this way. There's lizards at the entrance. Wasn't there? Right, one last look here and then we're going up the big bridge thing. I just used to have this dream, dream of getting chased through really long uh, grass weeds or something that was, towards the water. It was just the chase thing. It was a bit I don't think you could ever see what was chasing you. Yeah. And um, I don't, there's other ones where you obviously think you're awake, but and you're looking down the side of the bed, and you feel as though you're falling. I used to actually, I did actually used to fall out of bed quite a lot <laughs> and wake up on the floor. <laughs> No lizards up here. These days I just wake up and there's two cats fast asleep next to me. So that's a, that's a pleasant experience. There's a mouse. Right, so we've got all the mice tails. Mouse tails. Yeah, mouse tails. Unblock your message in a second. I don't know if I can do that from my phone. Let's wait till this zone loads up. Yeah, I can't do it from there. I think it's because you're spelling night with two G's on that. It's maybe thinking it's a bad word.
Loads of herbs. Hmm. What a pleasant dream. Oh, we've got all these uh, shades appeared again. Try and get further away. We're just gonna have to run around in circles and blast away. <laughs> Still one left, where is he? There. Look at all this loot. Oh, we got a we got a uncommon one. Dented metal bot. Herbs. No lizards. Oh. No. This one stubborn little guy. Yeah, it changes when you're in the... I like the way when you're in the houses it changes to the side view. And or you, sometimes you get a top-down view for some battles. The first game used to do that as well. We really need another lizard. Oh. Yeah, you can only carry s so much of certain things. I've already got 10 herbs, so I can't take any more. Yeah, I remember the post room. That was quite a good puzzle. I think you can... You've only got this one class, but you can choose whether to use, you can choose which spells to use. Because you can only have two spells active at the same time. And two martial art maneuvers. So you have to choose what you want to do. You get other spells later on. I want another lizard. Why is this last liz lizard being evasive? Calm down. 
You cannot prevail if you are blinded with rage. Little outburst there. I'm using my strafing technique. I think we've got them all. Well, oh, no, still somebody left. Ah, it's not um like a fully a full RPG in the sense that you can pick which class you want to be. I don't think we're going to find this lost lizard very easily. That was a herb as well, yep. Oh, lizard, lizard, find a lizard. <gasps> there, I've got them all. Right, we need to go back to town. We may as well peel up. More mutton for the lady in the toon. They've done a lot of work with the different animations on the book. <laughs> and I love its sarcastic manner. So there's, um, I was reading there's different endings to this, depending on how you play it. Um, so it's sort of a game you could maybe play a few times. Yeah, when he got surprised. Oh. <coughs> Must have been a medicinal herb. Yeah, it's very rarely I play one of these games through again. Oh, we could sell these books, couldn't we? We've got some nice materials in stock if you want to take a look. <laughs> Old school book. We've got ten of them, okay. We're getting a fair bit of money. Oops, didn't mean to hit you there. Right. We need to go to seafront again. There's no. Oh, there is a cat in this game. I was about to say I've only seen dogs, but there is a cat. He's up here. There's a cat up there on the boxes. He's stretching and rolling in the sand. Look. And then he watches you.
Oh, the big dude's here again. We can't defeat him yet. See these goats? Right. Some venison. This is usually copper ore or something. Silver ore. <clears throat> oh, uh, in uh, Valheim, I'm almost ready to take on the next boss. Uh, I've just been scouting out where I have to spawn it. And I'm going to build a little outpost and then upgrade my armor one more level. I've watched some videos as well how to handle it. Yeah, I'll be playing that. Um, I have been streaming a few times, Valheim. Um, Not a lot of the mundane stuff. I usually like do all my ore gathering and that off stream. I did um, stream the the elder boss fight, and um, it's really good. <laughs> I'm very addicted to it. <laughs> We've got our own private server set up. Here's your so, ingredients. Although I can't imagine what kind of drink uses this stuff. Oh, it tastes just as extreme as it looks. Popola is the only person I know who can handle it. Anyway, tell Popola I'll have this stuff sent over to the village as soon as it's ready, okay? Got it. So we're not going to take it back, okay? A drink with a lizard's tail inside certainly sounds impressive. <laughs> Yeah, Popola's really something when she starts drinking. Surely you jest. No joke. Once she got so plastered, she practically destroyed the shop. Knocked down a wall and everything. Does alcohol affect Devla in the same manner? Devla's more of a lightweight. If she has even a little, she starts acting all cute and meowing like a kitten. Devla? For true? For true. Alcohol is a fearsome chemical indeed. Yeah, this, I mean, we, we used to, well, I used to play Minecraft a lot, but I have gone off it <laughs> in the last year or two. Um, so it's maybe why I like Valheim so much, just because you can... It's, um... I mean, it's a survival game, but there's no rush to do anything in it, and you can just take your time and nothing. I mean, if if you just want to go gathering stuff, you can. You, I mean, you do get attacked now and again, but it's quite a casual survival game. And I like the lore in it, all the Viking stuff. And... The only thing, I mean, well, I mean, it's still in early access, so they're still adding on a lot of stuff to it. But the world doesn't look as big, maybe as well. It's nowhere. It's not infinite like Minecraft. Um, it is pretty large. Oh, the boss isn't here this time. I wonder what makes him spawn then.
It was my my son started playing it first, Valheim, um, and he set up a server so his pals could play on it. So, so that server's on all the time. The sailing, the, I really like the ships and the, the sailing mechanics. And you've got to be really careful when you're sailing, because <laughs> there's serpents in the sea that attack your boat. So you're constantly on the lookout for them. And the weather effects are just superb. Oh, um, it's popular we need to go talk to. Sort of been setting up um, repair workbenches along the coast, <laughs> so I can, if my ship gets damaged from the serpents, I can go and repair quickly. Used to be a used fan. It wasn't something I. Um, I think we we did a bit of Viking history at school because it's related to Scotland, um, especially with likes of Shetland and that. Hey, Popola, the tavern's got your drink. Oh, that's great. Let me get Devil and then we'll head on over. <clears throat> Here we go, we're going to hear them sing. <gasps> Lord, don't crash. Oh, he fell down. <laughs> Sing it unless she has that crazy drink, huh? It could almost be twins, the two of them, couldn't they? Oh, so beautiful. Reminds me of back when I was a lot younger, it does. Prettier, too. I don't know where that song comes from, and yet. Somehow it feels oddly familiar. Oh, do they stop when we're in here? What quests do we need to do? We can't get this weapon upgraded until we find this rusted clumps and crystals. Do we not have a goat hide? That needs the same. Hmm. 
I don't know if I know um, if I've ever seen how they portray it. All right, okay. Yeah, <clears throat> making it out like um, sexual thing. Different culture. Well, that was fun. Hopefully it won't be so long until the next time. Heavens, what a thrill. I had no idea those two had that in them. Me neither. They're still in there. Oh, she's needing ingredients still, isn't she? I'm trying to target her. Yeah. Hey, do you have time for a little side job? I'll make the time. I was hoping you could go to the airy and get an eagle egg for me. An uh eagle. -huh. It sounds as if someone is brewing up another batch of medicine for an ailing relation. I sure am. You're pretty smart, Vicey. 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 The airy is full of shades, so you're the only ones I can ask. Come on, Vicey. Let's get moving. <laughs> hmm. What have we got today? Which job should I give you first? Ooh. I've got a job from the postman in Seafront. He needs your help with a personal matter. I wrote down the client's location on your map, so head over there to get the details. Oh, that's in Seafront. Okay, that's, a, that's the post office. And we need to... Well, that's the seafront down there, isn't it? Okay, which quest do we want to do? We have a few now. Um... That's... Well, we could buy that and take so we've got it ready for when we go to the seafront. I spotted that here somewhere. Um, we've got the boar that we can't do. We've got the eagle. Goat hide. Why are we not getting any hides off of the goats? And we've got signature dish. But what about the mother? Where's that? Why have we not got the... The mother went missing, didn't she? Why is that not here? Strange how we don't have the, the mother quest. Why don't we go try it anyway? We'll go back to the um the junk place. Let's we'll see if we can't go down further. We can go in the elevator because he gave us the activation code, didn't he? For the elevator. Let's see how far we get on. Oh, I should have saved. Oh, there's a save point up there. That's okay. We just need to get there.
Oh, we've got thingies. Shades. I wonder why we haven't been getting any goat hides. Not that we've been killing a lot of goats, but I would have thought we would have had at least one. Tree branch. Clover. I don't think I've seen that. <laughs> okay. I shall scrub that off my list. Uh, save point is here. Grab the mouse. Hmm, now there's an elevator over here. Well, that's the one he wants us to go anyway, okay. See, search for the brother's mother, so why is that not a quest on the... Quest log. All right. He said their mom would be somewhere deep inside the mountain, right? If I may ask, what is it that possesses you to meddle in the affairs of these children? Yona and I both know what it feels like to miss your mother. Um. Did that drop anything? It did. That's quite a difference in price, isn't it? Right, we can go down that elevator or that elevator. I think we'll go down the first one. This is the junk heap. Yeah. So this is EVA, and we, the EVB was the other one. Oh, choose a destination. Well, I guess we're going to B1.
It was the ninth day, wasn't it, you were going for a while? Love the sword. I like the way he holds the sword. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to use my sword. I need a quick bio break. Uh, I shall be right back. Okay, well. Right, let's see how we get on in here. We've got a map for here? We do. Ooh, what's all this? Looks like a conveyor belt, maybe? Weapon testing area. Ooh. I presume this door is locked. Or stripped boat. Stripped, I presume. Tense there, right. There's a room off to that side. This is probably one of those spawning rooms again. Yep. Whoa. Oh, I've got to destroy it, have I? Okay. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? Bombs. Pick up or drop and throw with the F key. Okay, I've got to throw it quick <laughs> without hurting myself. Like that. I hurt myself now. I'm going to have to get I use up a, a recovery. We're going this way. Locked. What's this? Oh, a mine cart. Are we going on the mine cart? Use the arrows to change the direction of your magical attacks while riding a minecart. <laughs> so 
so we can slow it up and speed it down. That's the arrow keys. Go faster. Oh, we're going top down. Oh, well. All right, okay. Oh, I'm not doing very well here. How do I do? Oh, I use the mouse to aim. Faster. I'm just shooting ahead in case there's anything coming. I might have to use a heal thing. Whoa. Ah, right, I figured out the... Unlock the combo magic charging. Right, I figured out the arrow keys. Finally. Well, apart from that. Faster. Ow, 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 ow. Oh no, what happened? Ooh, I think I need to use a health pot. <laughs> Should I use my big one?